Hello guy lady, welcome back to our group. Yeah. As you can see, Robin initially assigned 95% of the claim for the divorce on herself. At the end of the quiz, Robin reassesses her level of responsibility because she able to see things a bit more objectively. She degrade the level of claim she put on herself and identify that 20% seems more appropriate. She's only partly responsible. They not only have her to feel less guilty and self disparaging. Now that you seen the rating responsibility is in action, it's time to evaluate the level of responsibility you feel you carry. In other words, you figure out how much of the problem is you. Complete your rating responsibility assigned in worksheet 5.18 by folding this step. Number one, name the problem you blame in your, yourself for write this at the top of the worksheet. Number two, your percentage from 1 to 100 rate how much blame you put on yourself for this problem. At the top of the worksheet, write this percentage under the problem you identify. Number three, in the left hand column, list all imaginable causes of your problem. Number four, in the right hand column, using a number from 1 to 100, estimate the percentage of actual responsibility for this problem that it caused in the left hand column owns. Also record your contribution to the problem. Number five, re-rate the percentage of responsibility you have for the problem you identify. Worksheet 5.18, my rating responsibility is aside. I play myself for, so what reason you should write down here? What do, reason that you blame yourself for? I read the plan art, so you write down. All possible causes your problem percentage your responsibility. So you prepare the separate piece of paper and then you write down here yeah, for yourself. Worksheet 5.18 continue. All possible causes your problem percentage your responsibility. So you write down on the separate piece of paper that you already prepared. My re-rate level of responsibility is right down here some people deny any and all responsibility for problems they encounter the folk usually find a convenient scapegoat such as mother father significant other society or even to blame for all their, their woes or to a any responsibility for the trouble make you See yourself are helpless and the world as unfair and unjust. Check out chapter 3 for more information about such self sabotage belief. Realize that you don't want to fall into that trap. Read the next section to see how to avoid it. Doing what you can to solve the problem. In this section, you face your problem and take action to change it by assessing your responsibility and determining what. You can do about the problem you avoid immersing yourself in self loathing and hard self blame. This approach allows you to take responsibility for an appropriate portion of the problem and do what you can with it. If your responsibility involves something that the world and done with no action is possible, but you can still try to let go of the same that lead nowhere or does nothing to help you. And you may be able to do something to prevent a similar problem in the future. Robin review her rating responsibility exercise she will sit 5.17. And notice that she own partial responsibility for some of the problems that led to her divorce. She lead off on reduction and then plan stuff for production. Action on action strategy will sit shown in book sheet 5.19. Worksheet 9, 5.19, Robin Action Strategy Worksheet, The Problem, My Divorce. My specific contribution to the problem, specific action I can take. I am 10 pounds overweight. 
specific action I can take. I can lose 10 pounds by fishing my SI and watching my diet. It won't have this divorce. But my counselor said it's a sign will lift my spirit and I'll be healthier. I'm not the most attractive woman in the world. I can't do a lot about my appearance other than rely it not that important. I don't want a man who want me just for the way I look away. I ignore out lack of communication in the marriage. When I find another relationship, I need to pay attention to how we talk. There are any other problems that crop up. I don't want to bury my head in the sand. After completing the reading responsibility assigned in Book 5.18, the next step is to create an action strategy to determine how you can begin solving your problem by identifying productive action to address the problem you are able to move forward and stop berating yourself follow this step to create an action strategy in bullshit 5.20 number one name the problem you blaming yourself force and write it at the top of the bullshit number two in the left hand column lead the specific contribution you identify that you have some control over. In other words, recording, recording anything you did that you have led to the problem or made it worse. Number C in the right hand column, list any steps you can take now in the future that may be useful in solving the problem. Worksheet 5.20, my action strategy worksheet, the problem. My specific contribution to the problem, specific action I can take. So you write down on the separate piece of paper that you have already prepared. In this ebook seat 5.20 continue, my specific contribution problem, specific action I can take. So any problem that happened to you, so what action should you take in order to resolve the problem? As you finish the chapter, take the time to reflect on what you discover about your pattern of thinking and how you affect your view of yourself, write down your feeling, thought, and inside book seat 5.21. Book seat 5.21, my reflection. So you should write down your reflection here, okay? Okay guys, now chapter 5 is finished. So see you next video in chapter 6. Thank you so much for your listening. And don't forget to have subscribe and to get more videos easily. Thank you.